when Random House resigned after spare disaster. 1.4 million copy sales is completely fake. Madeleine McIntosh, one of the most powerful figures in American book publishing, is stepping down from her role as chief executive of Penguin Random House. The company announced on Tuesday. The announcement comes during a time of great turbulence for Penguin Random House, by far the country's largest book publisher. Marcus Dole, who is the chief executive of Penguin Random House and Macintosh's boss, resigned from his position in December. The company also lost a bid last year to buy Salmon & Schuster, a large rival publishing house, after the government successfully sued to stop the deal on antitrust grounds. The deal's collapse cost Penguin Random House a $200 million termination fee, in addition to enormous legal costs. Dole had overseen the attempted acquisition. McIntosh has been the head of Penguin Random House US since 2018. Before that, she held a variety of roles at the company, which she first joined almost 30 years ago. She also worked briefly at Amazon. Her departure was reported earlier in the Wall Street Journal. In a memo to the company's staff, McIntosh said she wouldn't leave right away, but would work with Naya Malivia, the interim chief executive of Penguin Random House, to ensure an orderly transition. She said she had no concrete plans for what she would do next. In an interview on Tuesday, she said that even though five years might seem like a short tenure as chief executive, it had been an intense five years, and Spare's recent series of scandals led her to make the final decision. Penguin Random House offered $20 million for Harry to cooperate with them, but all they got was trash. Currently, the public has to spend a lot more money to run ads for PR stunts to create a fake sales record. The publisher was counting books delivered to stores as sold, but bookstores return unsold books, and in Harry's case, bookstores were paid to showcase giant displays of his books, and so would have ordered a lot, hence a lot of returns. Spare will be being sold at half price indefinitely. Independent booksellers won't be stocking it as they can't compete with Amazon's prices. The publisher sells to the distributor who on-sells to the retailer. Everyone takes a cut. The wholesale price is around 45% of the recommended retail price. So £12.60 of £28. If so, Amazon etc. is cutting into their profit margins. Why do this unless they think it will be a best seller? Or did Penguin Random House offer an even lower wholesale price to the large chains? It's no secret that the publishers have to make as much money as they can. Their strategy seems to be to spread it as far as possible. Spare will be translated into 16 languages. Local sinners, please chip in. Is Harry that interesting to Brazilians, French people, Germans, Portuguese, Spanish, Swedish? UK publishing works on sale or return for chains and indies and, yes, they can't compete with the supermarkets that will pile the up and pay bulk and firm at around 70% plus discount and have charts that marketing will pay for position and have nothing to do with sales. Amazon will have a high discount and sale or return, but not sure what this will be for Penguin Random House. Once you get to high discounts, the author royalty can fall to 10%. Receipts which will be shared with ghosts, 10-20% to 20 out of author royalty if they aren't paid a flat fee, and 15% for literary agents. Also, it's a bit healthier for bookshops in the UK.